Hey guys, coming to you live from my really messy garage to answer the question, how much meat do you actually get from a processed lamb? This is a video I've been excited to do for a very long time. And honestly, the past week of getting this lamb processed has been really stressful on me. If you saw my last video, I'm in a very different mood now that I've actually picked up the lamb and talked more about how it went with my butcher. But if you are like me and you didn't know how much meat you got from a young lamb from being processed for the first time, stay tuned because I'm gonna be talking about all the different cuts, how much meat I got, what we saved, and what our plans are with, this, uh, with the rest of our lamb, so stay tuned. Uh, I mentioned it at the beginning, I'm gonna just say it again, just to say it. Don't judge me for my messy garage. It is what it is. We moved in almost a year ago. We don't even park cars here. You know why? Because the doors don't work. So it's kind of just like a storage unit for us. Okay, so here's what happened. I had two lambs, uh, these two rams, and um, they were both almost six months. I would have liked to have waited a little bit longer, but looking back, I'm really glad that we processed when we did because my first two rams, um, I got one of them was 54 pounds, one of them was 58 pounds, and that is hanging weight. Really good weight for, for these rams. Um, really, really pleased at a five and a half month ram to, to get that much weight. So let me talk about what the 58 pound ram actually gave us. My 54 pound I gave to my neighbor, so I don't have any of, of his stuff lying around, but uh, the 58 pounder, totally got him in this free freezer. So let's check it out. Also, thank you mom and dad for giving me your old freezer. Congratulations on your new fridge. Really happy for you guys. All right, here we go. Got this awesome bike wagon that's keeping me from opening the door all the way, but that's cool. So up top, I've got kind of like the steaks and more fancier thing. Why don't I just get them out? I'll just show you what, what it all looks like. So, like I said, I got, uh, it was 58 pounds hanging weight and we pretty much take everything off the hanging weight. We don't want anything going to waste. So let's see what we got. First cut of the day, that is the shoulder that we got right here. This is the skull and I will tell you what we're doing with that later. It's not what you think. If you think it's soup, you're incorrect. It's another shoulder, another shoulder roast right here. I guess that makes sense, there's four shoulders. And another shoulder, okay, bam. Got the shoulders. Oh my gosh, right there. That's shank, the lamb shank, oh my gosh. So excited about that. My favorite part, the steaks, all about those leg steaks. So when we picked up these guys on Saturday, they were not frozen, which was very cool. Process on Friday, and then we picked up on Saturday. So I had the wonderful luxury of having never frozen meat, which is pretty cool if you think about it. What is this? Bones. Make some bone broth with that, with our own lamb. How cool is that? More bones. Okay, the, this next box is kind of like all the offal and stuff. Um, here are the testicles. I don't know why we kept those. It just felt right to do. <laughs> we have a few options for plans of, of things to do with the testicles. Look at that liver. What the heck is this? More bones. I actually didn't know I had that much. I guess there's two packages of bones per lamb because these look like bones too. They are. All right. Oh, the shanks, look at that. That's so pretty. That first thing that I thought was a shank is a neck. Bad on me for not knowing anything. Okay, so this next box down here, kind of all like the little uh, chops and stuff like that. Look at these. Maybe not right next to the fridge. Look at that. I'm so excited for those chops. Oh yeah, here's the other shanks. Little braised lamb shank action. That's gonna be delicious. Lamb chop right there. So good. I wish I knew more about where this all comes from on the sheep. I think that will come in time. 
couple of rib chops. Looks so good. Man, I really wish I cleaned my garage before this, but you don't care, you're just here for the lamb. Um, let me show you really what this all looks like when it's all said and done. Okay, so this is what it all looks like. Pardon the golf clubs and the empty toolbox and the empty box box, just hanging around here. But uh, let's, let's take a little walk through of what we got here. Um, this pile is kind of the uh, spare parts. This is all bones. So th these are bones and skulls from two different animals. Um, the guy that I gave my other lamb to does not care for this stuff, so more for us. So what that, what that means is I've got two bags of bones like this, two bags of these for each lamb, and then that's bones, and then a, a skull, um, which I will talk about later. No, nope, I'll just talk about it now. Basically, the idea is you take a skull like that, and during the winter time, when it's nice and cold outside, you feed it to your chickens and let them peck at it in the snow. Sounds gross, but nothing goes to waste here. And speaking of nothing goes to waste, um, I've got the livers, which I accidentally took my neighbor's uh, liver that I was supposed to give him. So obviously, uh, two sheep don't produce four livers. But uh, we've got liver right here. And then these are the two hearts from these two lambs. And the testicles, which there are three in there. And I don't know why. My butcher said he doesn't know where the fourth one went. So um, a little bit nervous about that ground beef over there. Or sorry, ground lamb over there. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, anyway, there's a few things we can do with that offal, um, but always worst case scenario, you cook it and, or, or basically it's chicken food, um, if you want it to be. However, I do want to try, I want to learn to like liver. Okay. This pile right here, um, is the four shoulders, just beautiful cuts right here do these nice and slow and low for a special occasion really excited for these cuts um, the the shanks and the neck over here that's a pretty good size shank man uh, for for a six month lamb really happy with what these look like that neck very similar to a shank oh all the steaks so I had two steaks Sorry, my family had two steaks. I just ate one of them by myself. Uh, delicious. Dorper is so good. Oh my gosh. Um, and then there's, there's the ribs and all the chops over here. So what is this right here? Lamb chops. How good do those look? <clears throat> um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, these guys right here, more rib chops, so good. I think that's the equivalent to a tomahawk steak for a cow. And then uh, back to the just the ground lamb and the stew meat. Um, not that much, isn't that surprising? I had no idea that I would only be getting uh, five pounds, basically, of ground lamb. And what's that, two pounds? Yeah, those weigh the same. Two pounds of stew meat crazy right okay so when all is said and done and I have not weighed these all myself it looks like I'm looking at about 50 pounds of meat maybe I'll just play it safe between 40 and 50 pounds of meat I did not get a live weight on my lambs before they went out the door but if their hanging weight was 54 and 58 um, I'd imagine they were close to 100 pounds which is great. Um, this butcher that I found, I, it was so cool to be paid this compliment, but he said, you know, any, every, whatever you're doing with these sheep, keep doing it. And that really meant a lot to me. Um, he's, he just said that their marbling was better than what he typically sees, very lean. I think a lot of that, the leanness has to go with their age, but again, it just proved that it's viable to, to do it with a six month lamb. Very, very cool. 
Okay, again, another plug to say don't look at my messy garage. But um, if you're interested in lamb, I recommend it. Um, if you were like me a year ago and you didn't know how much you were going to get out of one sheep, um, knowing that I had a hanging weight above 50 pounds for lambs under six months, and they were only fed grain the last three days of their life, really good setup. Really, really good setup. Really, really pleased with this. Dorper meat is absolutely delicious. It's what all the... All the stereotypes say succulent, not lamby, well marbled, lean, just whew, really, really solid meat. So couldn't be more thrilled with, with the final product here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I, I hope you guys, if you haven't given lamb a shot, give lamb a shot. Try to find someone that raises Dorper if you haven't had that. Hey, thanks for sticking around in this video. I hope it answered your questions of about how much meat you can expect to get uh, from a six month old lamb. In my opinion, more than I thought. If this is the first time we met, welcome to the channel. I'd love to see you again. Consider subscribing. Uh, we are all about, you know, better soil, better plants, and better animals. So if that's up your alley, consider subscribing. Um, but for now, I just hope to catch you on the next video as I talk more about sheep and all the other things going on at the homestead. So I'll see you next time. Bye. I found it. I found the missing testicle. Right here in the head of this guy. Which is a little sad for that guy, but glad to know there's not a random testicle in the ground lamb.